Jim and Connie, this is Kyle Kelly from Kelly's Port taking you through uh, 3200 that we just got in, guys. We just unwrapped this boat here from Regal. Um, reason I want to share this boat with you guys is one, obviously, different color, but secondly, it's got some of the optional equipment. I wanted to kind of see if you guys could do that. Uh, one, it's got the big stainless steel rub rail in the back, which I think is a pretty good look. Just kind of kind of hardcore. Again, we just unwrapped it, guys, so it's not going to be perfect. Um, this is that interior that I think Connie liked a lot. It's more of that tan kind of taupe interior um, that I think is a pretty snazzy look. Um, they've also done, it looks like, I haven't seen this yet, looks like they're doing some new carpet, um, which I like. It's kind of got this texturized look into it. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Bennington started doing that for a while ago, one of our other pontoon manufacturers. Um, but it's really, really, really nice, really slick look. Again, does have the arch that we've got inside here. Um, same way with the cool of the countertop. But this is the thing I really want to get your guys' opinion on here is this joystick. So first and foremost, Connie, like you had picked out, remember that one joystick boat we drove, how it was just that little smaller deal? So you can see this. This is a lot meatier. And then also as well, you've got kind of a little... A little push side here right now. It's kind of oblong looking, if that makes any sense. Also, the controls are much smaller. Uh, I like this because, again, try and do this with my other hand. You can kind of see in relation to my hand here, it's a lot easier to kind of hold on to and get using access of. And again, you can go with just that single level if you want to. You're not all the way up here like you kind of were in that other one. This, you can kind of have like a hand rest. It's got an arm rest over the side over here that you can kind of put your hand. So it's a lot easier access here as well. Um, this one does not have the GPS, but again, that's an option. Again, it fits in real nicely right in the side through here. I recommend it. Again, it's 100% up to you guys. Uh, also, with all the digital joystick stuff, you've got all this. This gives you way too much information, like gallons per hour consumption, stuff like that. Also, with these, this will automatically sync. Um, so, regardless if you have these up like this, these two engines will automatically sync with each other, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, again, this nicer taupe interior, guys. I mean, I think is really, really, really classy. Um, again, still a fully enclosed head. Where the heck is that little switch for it? Down the side down here, as you can see. And then walking through the center walkthrough again, these bow filler cushions and stuff like this. Um, guys, it, it's a sexy looking boat. I mean, it looks really, really, really nice. Again, we've got 42s and 46s and everything else in between. Um, but for you guys kind of getting started here at Lake of the Ozarks, um, this th this is exactly how I'd stock the boat out, guys. Um, Color-wise, I like the color. Um, the one disadvantage, you know, you're going to have with black on the whole sides, um, you know, it, it's going to show more. And let me kind of get over to the side here so I can kind of show you what we're talking about. As long as I don't fall down off this thing. And if I do, don't laugh. Um, again, it's just, it, it'll show more water spots and stuff when it's clean. It looks really nice. But, well, then again, you know, you guys aren't going to worry about too much cleaning because you're going to do one of those full-size covers. So, I guess I wouldn't be afraid of the color if you like the full whole side color. Uh, a lot of go folks go with the, the full whole side white, kind of like what we had there. But, um, you know, this black with all the stainless that's on the boat, I mean, really, really, really makes it shine and really makes it pop out. So, uh, anyways, take a look through, see what you guys think. I've included a link on the 3550 as well, which is the Cuddy Cabin boat that you can take a look at as well. But um, if it sounds like I'm leading the witness, it probably is. But again, I, I think this would be a neat boat for you guys. Anyways, Kyle Kelly from Kelly's Port. Ask you to buy the best and only cry once.